Well, hello everyone, my name is Zedita, and welcome back to another episode of Dress in the Sky 3rd. And this is another bonus episode, because we are going to another star door, and this is the 7th star door, and I'm not really sure what the requirement is, but it said that we can bring anybody. Apparently, there is a trial, so I hope we are prepared for everything. Let's go. What kind of trial here? Monster! Man, it's been a long time since I fought any monster inside the door. Alright, let's go. Mischief and Star Gordon. Alrighty. Oh, Petrify, that's hurt. Let's save and list from Petrify. Come on, list. Good, miss. Keep missing, please. Yes, come on, go closer. Go inside the ring. Good job, Kevin. Another butterfly? Really? You suck. That's just another Dark Matter X. Riz, you gotta save at least. Ren, I'm going to call you Ren from now on because apparently Ren is not the right pronunciation for her name. So that was my bad. Let's use Calamity Troll, shall we? Oh, that's good. Another Dark Mater! Suck it up! Good! Divided! Another one! Of course! Analyst cannot get fucking move here! I was planning for Analyst to make an s move, but now they are fucking dead! Unbelievable! Come on! Make them falling back, please. Ah, oh, still not enough. Kevin, it's your Escaref. May a thousand thorns adorn your quest with despair. May you be as dark. It should be easy fight, but god damn, the better fight is making it so fucking hard. How about attack normally, Ren? Not much. Okay. Guess I gotta keep using art attack. Done. Come on. Just give me the freaking sad story. Yes. Where the hell are we now? Our ones are devices that use the orbital energy contained within Septium to cause a variety of useful effects. It has only been a little over half a century since they were first invented. But even in such a short time, they have already re revolutionized the world as we know it. From daily necessities, such as lighting and heating, 
The tanks and other similar weapons used to defend our nations, our most are used in just about every facet of our lives. In fact, it's so hard to imagine life without them. So much of what we take for granted in life now involves them in some way. And it is to proliferate and advance the development of these orphans that we exist. We, the Epstein Foundation. Our foundation was first established in year 1155 of the Septian calendar, the year after Professor Epstein passing, and was created by his brilliant-minded disciples in order to honor his wishes. The foundation is present in his home state of Lehman, where it remains in operation to this day. It was very limited in size in the beginning, and his attempts to spread herbal technology was initially met with little success. Sensing that the professor's dream would never be realized at the rate they are going, three key researchers left Lehman to try and spread the seeds of herbal technology across the continent themselves. One of these was Professor G. Smith. The professor, who had gained a fine reputation of his own for his skill in the field of mechanical engineering, went around and visited corporations in various nations to persuade them of the benefit of orphans. The second was Professor L. Hamilton. Mindful of the technological gap between regions, he long believed it was rural and remote areas that needed urban technology more than any other. As such, he enlisted the help of the Berser Guild, which already had a close relationship with the Foundation, and formed a mission with the intent of promoting and spreading the technology where applicable. The professor himself also told the regions with the aim of spreading public awareness and laying foundations for others to build on in the future. The third was Professor A. Russell, now known far and wide as the father of the urban revolution. Professor Russell returned to his home nation of Liberal and continued to work tirelessly to advance urban technology there. And within a year of returning, he had set up the Zeiss Engineering Factory, now known as Zeiss Central Factory, or ZCF, and created the first urban to be made outside Lehman State. Three years later, the reigning king of Liberal at the time, Edgar III, visited the factory to inspect it, and he decided to donate a large amount of money to further its research. With his majesty's endorsement, Orphans began to spread like wildfire throughout the kingdom, bringing such as prosperity that the people of the nation were filled with envy. So we know Russell, we know Professor Smith, but I never know the Hamilton one. I hope we get covered in the next game. In Crossbow basically. Up until then, most people didn't see the Orphans in particularly positive light, but their success in the world changed those impressions virtually overnight. One nation after another began to reach out to our foundation to share open technology, and both our foundation financial and social standing became that much more secure. In the eyes of the world, the urban revolution was a sudden, far-reaching transformation. But it was only because of years of reaching out to people and intelligence, largely in the test research that it was able to happen at all. Huh. The foundation activity centers around the following three guiding principles. 1. Carrying out fundamental research on orphans. 2. Spreading urban technology and informing the public of its benefits. 3. Contributing to the world peace through technology. Now then, let's discuss each of these three guiding principles in more depth. 1. Carrying out fundamental research on orphans. The foundation's most important mission is, naturally, the improvement and development of urban technology. The fundamental principles behind how orphans work need not improvement as such, but their architectures, the internal structures, have been improved upon countless time in the past and will surely continue to be perfected by the curious mind as the years go on. Orphans' architecture concerns the mechanical parts inside them as the clocks and screws, and there's still plenty of room for change as this new technology be developed. This improvement can have great reward, but the resource necessary to make them is known to be an as lengthy as it is expensive. As a result, Companies who prioritize profit over all else are less inclined to pursue them. That makes our foundation research all the more important from a social perspective. Spreading urban technology and informing the public of its benefit. Two other important goals of the foundation are to spread urban technology as widely as possible and to educate the public on the correct way to use it. While opens have become part of the daily lives of most who live in advanced nations and populated urban areas, the reality in remote and mountainous region is very different. To counter this, we have long walked to the same missions of engineers and brothers to this region to try and, and better the standard of living for these people, and we will continue to do so. We also continue to work on other ways to spread awareness of urban technology, such as working closely with the Septian Church to have it added to the curriculum of Sunday school classes. 3. Contributing to world through technology 
In order to pursue this noble yet extremely difficult goal that the Foundation has, has had a close relationship with the Prison Guild ever since its initial founding. The Guild was established as an international peacekeeping organization and can mediate on conflict between nations from a neutral point of view, making it essential to the stability of our world as it stands. The Absent Foundation continued to back them up, fully in their cause, both with financial aid and using the fact that the Lehman State is the only place where tactical orphans are produced to provide them with equipment. Just as well, this relationship also provides ideal feedback towards speaking the quality of tactical orphans as they are used in combat too. Every mission and every invention goes through a long, grueling process behind the scenes before eventually reaching its finish, refined form, and tactical orphans are no exception. Then, in September calendar 1119, our foundation unveiled the Herbal Network Project, which will be implemented in partnership with CCF. Such project aims to join all of the Samurai together with a single united communication network, but our hope is that it will do much more than that. Our hope is that it will help to realize a peaceful world through communication. Sadly, Urban's relationship with, with peace as a concept has become somewhat complicated. Are they adding it its realization, or are they doing the exact opposite? Professor Epstein expresses hopes that their ability to realize the limitless looping of energy will be able to bring lasting peace to the world. So it's basically internet. Instead, recent years have truly betrayed those hopes, and the post-revolution world has been chaotic one indeed. The conflict between Liberal and Erbonia for one made significant use of herbal weaponry, airships included. It seems to be no doubt that herbal weaponry will continue to become more and more advanced, making war an even more tragic event than ever. In the face of all of this, how should we go about trying to create a peaceful world? We believe in the best way to do this is to rely on the power of communication and the means to do so with people of different nationalities and races. If these people can more easily interact and more easily deepen their understanding of one another, perhaps that will allow us to create the world we all so dearly desire. In the end, one thing is for certain, our challenge to try and realize Professor Epstein's ideals are only just beginning. And that's finished. Ingenuity 2 7000 Mira, thank you Well, I think I still have one more door that I can go in So let's go Sun door 4 Why not, right? So this requires the destiny card that we get from the chest Let's open the door Alright, let's see, is this a resort door? The Culver Republic <laughs> That's a city in this country, a place where migrants from the east have recreated their homeland down to the bright lacquered tiles. Nicknamed the Eastern Quarter, it was home to people of all kinds from, from all places. On the northern outskirts of the town was a little rounded bar, the place had been presentable once, but now the plaster was crumbling and what doors were left barely fit their fitted frames. Of course, such a city place attracted clientele to match. Instead were true gamblers of exceptional skills, it was only mere months ago when they had turned the underworld on its head in the match of the century. The first was Jack, a prolific blue-eyed gambler known by the moniker Victory Jack, who was finally be able to put his pet behind him. Gambler Jack! And the second was Haley. A petite gambler who remained doggedly by his side despite his best attempt to check her. Yeah, this is a gambler check. Today was yet another ordinary day at the bar. However, the shriek of the door opening announced the arrival of someone who was a netting bot. Is this a card game? Huh? Who the hell are you? Can be either really dumb or really brave. And that's saying something with this join. I'm putting my money on that former. How about you? <laughs> uh, hey, get away from him, guys. Who are you exactly? Huh, I'm so sorry about them. I'm sure that wasn't the welcome you're expecting when you step in here. 
They're not bad people, really, I swear. Although, you could certainly be forgiven for thinking so looking at them. Are you a customer by any chance? Here, let me show you to a table. Haha, <laughs> still, you're quite an unusual one, if you don't mind me saying so. Not many people would willingly come to a random bar like this, especially not in the middle of the day. I'm not saying it was a bad idea to come here, of course. Sure, it's in desperate need of renovations, and the regulars are a rowdy bunch. But that's just something. I don't know. Warm over this place. Like I'm home. The food's a lot better than you'll think, too. Oh, what's your feet? I'm pretty sure that floor panel is going to step any day now. Well, here's your seat. Anything you like to order? You don't look like you are here for booze. Anyway, how about something to eat? Personally, I recommend the Tam Yum Gong. It's the most popular thing on our menu, and for a good reason. The base of spicy with the just right amount of soreness is perfect. Aha, I can see your mouth watering already. That's a definite yes. How about something to drink? Just water? Sorry? What was that? You're looking for Jack? Well, it's usually serving in the bag at the time of day. Wait, did you come here to challenge him to game or something? Sorry, I didn't even think to ask if that was what you were here for. Hmm, huh. well, alright, I'll go and talk with him. If he's in a good mood, he might be willing. Don't get your hopes up though. Wait here for a minute, okay? Hey, you hear that? That guy over there wants to take Jack on. Yeah, I heard. Haha, <laughs> if he takes him out on it, this could get real interesting. Huh, <laughs> won't be so sure about that. It ain't often Jack actually gets serious, and I don't know if that guy got what it takes to bring it out of him. Well, here's the Tamiyam Gong you ordered. It is rather still hot. Oh, and as for Jack, sorry, but it says it'll pass this time. Seems like he's still hungover from drinking yesterday. Doesn't even want to get up. I'm sure that's not what you want to hear for after coming all this way to challenge him, but that's Jack for you. Wait, no, I've got a great idea. How about you and I have a game first? If you beat me, I'll go back him again. Are you Haley? I'm sure he'll be totally interested in someone who's better than me. Surprise? I'm actually quite the gambler, you know? The name's Haley. Oh! I'm the daughter of the legendary gambler king. Not exactly a household name, but it's a pretty famous one in this kind of circles. Fair warning, I don't plan on holding back one bit. If you're doing this, we are going out. Plus if I win, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Are you good with that? Uh -huh. I'll take that as a yes. Well, let's move to a more suitable table, shall we? As for the game, how does Blackjack sound? Ugh, it's been so long since I played Blackjack, man. Alright then, I hope I can win. I start. Haha, uh -huh. are you ready? Then let's get started. Nine hearts. Uh, 19, huh? I'm gonna stand. No? Huh, that's one bolt bluff if it is one. Ace. Yeah, I win. Ouch, I thought I lost that one. Huh, I must get on a little head of myself. I won't lose next time. Oh, let's hit. Two. Let's hit one more. That's good. We get us in back. Yeah! Looks like you win this one! Congrats! Right, we need to win 7 round. That's it. Sure you are cool with that hand? Well, whatever. It's my turn now. Draw. Huh, <laughs> a draw, huh? Not bad, not bad. Huh, <laughs> I'll win the next one. That's it. 22, oh my god, I lost.
Draw! Oh, 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 I get saved there. Crap! Did we bot bus? I never expected that. <laughs> you got lucky. That's them. Can we hold? Ah! Huh, sorry, but I win this one. Yes, that's good. Right, I'm gonna stand. Let's not do anyone. Zero, really? Hit, one more. Ah, oh, bus. God damn it. Come on here. Hit. I didn't, is it enough? Uh, let's then. Ah, come on. We need to win this one. Hit. Hit again. So it didn't hit. No, I bust. Good. We safe. Hold. Yeah, we won. Wow. I was expecting this to come right down to the wire. Now I really can lose. We get king. Hit. I bust. Ah! Uh, uh, did you go and bust? Shall I cut while you are ahead? Well, that's that. Unfortunately for you, I win this one. Well, we try, I guess. Ah, uh, well, that was a letter. Huh? If that's all you are capable of, even if I did convince Ojek to challenge you, you lose against him anyway. Well, as far as this feels on, rules are rules. You're gonna have to live for the day. Huh? But only for the day. Come back once you have managed to preserve your skill, okay? No, try again. I'm not going to lower difficulty. That's for newbies. Come on, let's go. Ah, oh, that's perfect. Stand. Yes! Looks like you win this one. Congrats! Are we done? Yes, we're done. Well, that's that. That's fine, stranger. You're incredible. Thank you. Yes. Wow. Who'd have thought? You're actually really good. Alright. A deal's a deal. I'll go and talk to Jack again. Wow. He actually managed to beat her. Looks that way. Maybe we'll get to see something interesting after all. Ah, man, I'm tired. Is that you, Jack? Huh? That's a new face. So what? That the guy who beat Haley? Gah, my head's throbbing like a bitch. What? Ah, there goes the floor. Haha, <laughs> see? Told you. I knew he'd be the one to break it. Haha, <laughs> that you did. Poor guy. It's kinda crazy how he's even amazingly lucky at the gambling, yet amazingly unlucky at all at everything else. Actually, it's really less unlucky and more him us being out of it. Hey, I heard that you. I'll take you on any time you want. That's enough of you two. If you want to fight, you can take it outside. The last thing we need is to spend ending up any more random than it already is. Huh, and on that note, you're fixing that broken floor for yourself, Jack. That's on you. Why do you have to do that? Ah, fine, fine. Ah, this sucks. Huh, never thought I'd see Jack get so warped out around somebody's finger. You're telling me. Anyway, sorry for the wait. Here's Jack. So, I was right then. This is the guy who wants to take me on. Sure he is. Really, he doesn't look like he's gonna put up much of a fight to me. Never let your guard down, or you could find yourself stumbling into something unexpected. Like, you know, the floorboard again. Bah. 
Anyway, I'm Jack. I think you already know that, though. And before we do any gambling, I need a drink. Get me a whiskey, Haley. On the rocks. Huh, what was that you said earlier about hangover again? Oh, I got rid of that just now. Come on, we haven't got all day. Huh, you're unbelievable. Huh, the tail got your eye. Girls about as sexy as a lamppost right now, but she's got potential. Can't tell you what made her want to work in a shithole like this, but here she is. Anyway, forget her for now. Let's talk about you, yeah? You're one brave guy to come in here all on your own and out of the blue. I don't many guests will have the guts to do that, or girls for that matter. Nice to see you two are hitting it off. Here's your drink, Jack. Thanks. Huh? You hang around? I figured you'll get back to work. As if I could work knowing there's an exciting match going on over here. The owner's given me the okay too, so I'm gonna park my butt right here until you're done. Huh, with an order like that, it's no wonder this place is the way it is. Well, whatever. Let's get this over with. Here we go. You're the challenger, so I'm gonna be the one picking the game we play. And I'm going with the one I'm the best at. Poker. Poker? That's the most complicated game I still haven't figured out to this day. I've played poker in internet a few times, but I still don't get how it works. Alright, so this is the hands that we can win here. Right, I hope I remember the rules. Let's start it. Let's get these things over with. May the best man win, I guess. Uh, let's change. That's good. <laughs> Looking forward to seeing what you get. I'm gonna get this. No pair. God damn it. Sorry about that. Guess that was on my Saturday. I don't freaking know what to do here. Alright, next game. Ten hearts. Betting to stars, huh? Bring it on. I never turned on a challenge. I'll hold. Let's go. Heh, <laughs> looking forward to seeing what you get. No pair! Ah, I don't understand! <laughs> Poker is so freaking hard to remember. Of course you win. Huh, Harry isn't blowing smoke, was she? After hearing you beat her, I figured you might give me a run for that money. But no such luck. I wasn't playing smoke at all. I don't think he beat me by pure chance. That's really matter now. My interest is gone, I'm afraid. My elements come back again, but next year you can do a whole lot better than that if you do. Yes. I will try to keep using the same difficulty and I try to win. A few moments later. Change. Three! Whoa! We got three pair! Let's go! Full house! Would you look at that? Don't expect that luck to hold out, stranger. Alright, go on to the next one. Ah, oh, crap, this is really bad. I'm gonna race. YOLO. Come on here. Oh! Oh, we got three of kind! Can we win this? We win! We win! Yeah! Finally! Ah! Oh, after freaking nearly one hour of trying. Ah, oh, we won! Damn, you managed to get all the stars. Be proud. Not just anyone can beat me. Oh my god, we won! Ah! Oh, I've been playing the same freaking difficulty. I was thinking about the lowering it. Because it's just wasting so many time. But fuck it, I'm just kept trying trying to get that freaking RNG to my side. Huh, <sighs> well, I'll be there. You have really good after all. You beat me fair and square. I ain't gonna make excuse. Are you kidding me? He actually beat Jack! Only because he was holding back. You know that as well as I do. 
The same could have been true for his opponent to be fair. Y yeah, you're right. It was still a damn good game though. Looks like we are at the center of attention now. I would say we are entertained the bar enough at least. Can't say I'm thrilled with losing. But this is the first time in a while I've felt the rush of a good game though. I'll say, it was a great game to watch. I'm itching to play some poker myself. Anyway, if you ever feel like it, come on back, I guess. I'll try and make time for you if you do. But just very clear, you haven't seen what half of what I can really do yet. You say that, Jack. But for all you know, it's gonna be you getting beaten next time too. Huh, we'll see about that. Still, I feel the exact same way as he does. You are also welcome back here. I love to play you against personally. You better come back at least once though, got it? I need a chance to get my own victory against you and now you've got one on me. Oh, that's all for today, huh? That's a shame. Well, come back again sometime, alright? Finally ended. We have finished another game of luck. The first one is fishing and no poker. Thank you. Well, this is it for this one episode, everyone. My name is Sonita, and I will end it here. And yeah, ah, uh, I hope the game does not throw me another game of luck. I don't want to play another game of luck in one of the door. Anyway, see you guys later in the next video. Have a nice day and peace out. Goodbye.